never seen me before, hi, my name is Yuki, and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. A one, a two, a one, two, go. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, yeah, yeah, yeah. So really quickly, I'm just gonna do a very fast get ready with me because I am running late. I'm supposed to be going to a traditional wedding, Nigerian traditional wedding, and I just thought I'd turn the camera on and have you guys, you know, just hang out with me. You know it's serious when the wig had no the wig cannot go on oh i'm sweaty my face has been moisturized um i do have my brows on i'm just gonna apply my foundation i'm gonna use the lancome tanti doll 24 hour ultra this morpheus brush just kidding morphe m439 and buff this in and this is the maybelline great lash mascara in clear usually i wait for this to dry down but i don't have the time so i'm just gonna go right into cleaning up underneath the brow this is my Black Opal Flawless Concealer, and I'm using the shade Honey. In case you did not know, I'm actually Nigerian. Where are you guys from? Like, what part of the world are you from? Because it's always interesting to me seeing just how many people from all over the world, different parts of the world, watch YouTube, watch my YouTube channel specifically. Like, just crazy. Like, I can't find the brush I'm looking for, so. Ooh, these brows are looking rough. I'm gonna use this Morphe Eyelid Primer because there's some shades in the Morphe and James Charles palette that I've been really itching to try out. So this will be more like a neutral tone. I'm gonna use a brush because I don't wanna use my fingers. Probably these two will be my mains. Actually gonna just experiment and work in reverse this time around. I'm gonna use Cold James first. And I'm not using a packing brush because I don't want too, too much of an intense color. Now I'm gonna pack 10% off. I feel like this whole entire week has been James Charles week. <laughs> I'm gonna take the color right next to it. No Beans is the name. No, it doesn't really have anything to stick to, so it's not really gonna budge. You can just turn this into a crease situation. I'm gonna take that first brush with Code James on it and just take it further up and using this light shade called Tune. I have to go back in and add everything because Tune got all over the eye. Some of these are a little bit on the powdery side. Add Code James back in. These brows <laughs> need some attention. <laughs> and I can just take whatever's left on my foundation brush and just kind of clean it up a bit. I'm just trying to reinforce no beans. I do feel like the entire look is reading very orange, so I don't know. I really need to find a new concealer to use because I'm kind of getting sick of this one. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Dark 46. I just want to change things up a little bit is all. Okay, I don't want my forehead to look bigger. <laughs> to set this, I'll be using my Maybelline Fit Me, Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade T5 Deep, and it's so incredibly smoothing, this powder. But I do notice that if you cry or anything like that, it doesn't prevent that, like, tear mark from going down your face. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But it's not it's not cry-proof. It's not tear-proof. Let's put it that way. But I do remember the Laura Mercier being tear-proof. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Doc Deep. And I just do a light dusting of this. I want my face to be a little bit warmer. So I do need to find like an actual bronzing powder. I feel like that would really help, help my ministry, you know? <laughs> Next, I'm going to contour using the sleek, sleek, the sleek face contour kit in the shade dark. And this is a BH Cosmetics brush, the V2, whatever brush. And I love using this to contour. I'm going to use Halloween and So Good. I'm going to dip into Halloween, spray my brush. And this is a coppery tone, but I do want it a little lighter. That's why I'm going to stack So Good on top of it. Ooh, so good, so good, so good. I'm just going to pop this right in the center. So this is so good. Looking like fire. Okay, not brow highlight, brow light. I'm going to use this shade called Face. For the lower lash line, I'm dipping into 10% off and just stamping along down here. 
to my waterline i'm going to use a nyx wonder pencil in the shade uh, dark back to 10 percent off just gonna stamp i think i want to just leave it like that i don't i don't want to do too much let me just see if i can bring it down a little bit now for my eyeliner i'm just a little baby wing oh 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 you did not see her coming, don't mind the edges. But you did not see her coming, did you? Let's just hope I can replicate that on the other eye. They're not quite the same, but they will do. For lashes, I'll be using the LePage Trends Amethyst Lashes. I love these lashes. You guys always see me using them in videos. You guys are asking what lash adhesive I use. I use the Super Stronghold Eyelash Adhesive in clear. And this is by INV by Kiss. I switched from the duo brush on adhesive to this and I do feel like this gives me a better hold. I can't remember where I bought it. It was either Amazon or like a random website cause it's not readily available. I usually do this and then I go back and spray my face down, apply mascara, maybe even a little bit of highlighter. By the time I've done all that, usually my lash glue will already be, you know, tacky. You know what? I think I do want to apply a little bit of blush gonna use my MAC Raisin. Just sweep her up a little bit. And then my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Now for my mascara, this is just some basic Maybelline mascara. Adding my little dots. I'm loving this fiery copper going on here. Let's check on the lashes. Not quite ready yet, so I'm just gonna move on. Ooh! Move on to highlighter using the Official Glam Beauty Pressed Highlighter in Drippin'. And I really love this highlighter. To be honest, it actually reminds me of the pressed form of uh, LeBron's. Le mm, LeBron's? A little bit lighter than LeBron's by Artist Couture and Jackie Aina. One day I will stop doing that accent that I keep doing because I know it's not representative of anyone from any country. I just like to do it because it makes me feel fancy. So leave me alone. Ooh, she went a little too hard. Um, ooh. This is a problem. I didn't want it to be too blinding just because I feel like I'm so extra with my makeup sometimes that it intimidates people. By the way, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that on my Instagram story the other day after I got done doing a super colorful look using this palette actually. I went out somewhere real quick and it was just a quick errand. And tell me why I was asked if I'm on a dance team. A dance team. Cause they're like, yeah, you got all these colors going on on your face. I was like, um, I just like color. And the guy just gave me this look like, <laughs> you know that look? You know what, judge me if you like. I am i don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just, I'm going too hard with the highlight and I don't want that. Tell you this much, it is very easy to overdose on this highlighter. Come back to that, let's check on the lashes again. Lash application is my weakness in this whole makeup process thing, right? And I am not too ashamed to say it. All right, I'm gonna curl those in a bit. I just want to finish off my highlighter. Fun fact, the groom is actually from the same ethnic group that I'm from in Nigeria. Um, we're a smaller ethnic group. By the way, in case you didn't know, Nigeria has over 200 and something languages, including dialects or so. So just, just so you're aware. For those of you who did not know, I'm actually from Edo State, Benin to be exact. All right, I had to go quickly get dressed. I'll be using my NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in just what I needed. This is kind of my go-to event lip. And this is the completed look, you guys. I'm ready to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this really quick get ready with me video. And I am glad that I got to do more of <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. I am glad that I got to do more of a neutral look with this palette. Again, it's a very versatile palette. I like the fact that there are so many different color options and I like the color story of the palette. I just wish there were more deeper burgundies or reds that would be perfect for fall, but these oranges work too. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and also comment down below in the comment section to let me know what you think. If you're not subscribed, Please go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell to get all notifications so you don't miss any uploads. Thanks. And if you want, you can follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter and you Twitter and Yuki. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Yuki underscore Y O U K E double Y underscore. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me once again. And I hope to see you in the next video. Lord willing. Stay blessed. Bye. <laughs>